Yo, this is the third episode of One Dollar to a Knife, in where I start with one dollar and do trade ups to try and get a knife. And from the last video, we now have twelve dollars and eighty three cents in our Steam balance, so that is really nice. So before we start, I'll be giving away an M4A for Neon Noir in this video. So if you want to enter, just check out the pinned comment down below. Now let's go to the sponsor for this video, Skins Monkey. So Skins Monkey is a trading site where you can trade your skins instantly. So the site is currently giving away free money of up to $5 if you press free $5 and put in my code ELSU. So all you have to do to trade your skins is search for the skins that you want, then put in the skins that you don't want, and then press trade your skins. But as you can see here, I am lacking a few dollars to complete my trade. But by putting in my code ELSU, I can get a free $2.50, so thanks skins monkey. So after clicking trade your skins, I got my skins instantly, so that is really nice. So if you don't have any skins to trade, you can also top up your balance with credit card and crypto. And they give you a 35% bonus for this, so that is really nice. So anyway, Skins Monkey is a really nice site, so make sure to check them out. Link will be in the description. So for the first trade up, we will be doing a stat track field test of dreams and nightmare trade up, in where we will be using 10 stat track field test of dreams and nightmare skins, which you can get for anywhere around 26 to 27 cents each. So the average float for this trade up needs to be less than 0 0.1972. So make sure to use skins to float less than that, and the total cost of the trade up will be around two dollars and sixty cents to as much as two dollars and seventy cents each. For the outcomes, this is a simple trade up since we get a five dollar profit with the USB ticket to hell and the M three one night terror, then lose around one to two dollars with the rest of the outcomes. So I tell you guys, this is a very profitable trade-up with an ROI of 35.34%, so that's really nice. So for my first attempt at this trade-up, we did get an XM Zombie Offensive, which is a $1.42 loss. But for the second trade-up, we luckily got the USP Ticket to Hell, which is a $4.80 profit, which is really nice. So these two trade-ups now puts our total up to $16.21 each, so hopefully we can get even more profits in our next few trade-ups. So for the next trade-up, we will be doing another cheap trade-up in where we will be using 6 minimal wear revolver skins for $0.19 cents each and 4 factory new clutch skins for $0.20 cents each. So the average float for this trade up needs to be less than 0.37, so I recommend using minimal wear revolver skins that floats less than 0.095 and factory new clutch skins that floats less than 0.035. So the total cost of the trade up will be $1.94 each. For the outcomes, we get a $3 profit with the Negev, then around a $1.30 profit with the Titan Avalanche, then a small profit with the rest of the revolver skins and a small loss with the rest of the clutch skins. So we got the inputs to try this trade up out 3 times and hopefully we can get a really nice profit here. And for the first trade up, we got a bison fuel rod which is a small profit so I guess I'll take that. And for the second trade up, we unfortunately got a clutch skin which is an 83 cents loss. And for the last and final trade up, let's see what we're going to get. 3, 2, 1. We got the SG Tiger Moth, which is actually a nice profit, but unfortunately, we are still in the black in this trade up since that clutch loss does hurt a little bit. So, with these three trade ups, we lost around 20 cents, so that now puts our total down to $16.01. So let's just move on and hopefully we can get a nice profit in the next trade up. So for the third trade up, we will be doing a mill spec snake bite trade up in where we will be using 6 minimal or snake bite skins which you can get for 20 cents each and for factory new danger zone skins which you can get for around 20 to 23 cents each. So the average float for this trade up needs to be less than 0 0.37 so Make sure to use minimal wear skins with floats less than 0.395 and factory new danger zone skins with floats less than 0.035 and the total cost will be somewhere around $2.06 each. For the outcomes, we get an $8.30 profit with the AK-47 slate which is actually really nice, then a $0.70 profit with the Deagle trigger discipline and a $1 loss with the rest of the outcomes. So this is quite a risky trade up in where we only have a 24% chance to profit but I am hoping that we can get the AK slate in this video since 
We did try this trade above in the last video and we got some really bad losses. So for my first attempt at this trade up, let's see what we're going to get. 3, 2, 1. Oh, we got the P250 Cybershell which is a 99 cents loss and we now lost 3 times in a row in this trade up so hopefully we can get a profit in this video. So for my second attempt at this trade up, let's see what we're going to get. 3, 2, 1. Yeah, we got the AK Slate! That is an $8.30 profit which is really really nice. So that massive win now puts our total up to $23.31 each. So we are in good profit here and I was deciding if I will stop the video right here but I am no pussy so let's go on to the next trade up. So because we got insanely lucky in the last trade up, I decided to do the Statrack version of that trade up which we will be using 6 stat track minimal wear snake bite skins and for stat track factory new breakout skins instead. So the average float for this trade up needs to be less than 0 0.07 so make sure to use minimal wear skins to float less than 0 0.095 and factory new skins to float less than 0 0.35 and the total cost of the trade up is now $7.30 each. For the outcomes, this is basically just the last trade up on steroids since we now get $30 with the AK Slate and the $3 profit with the Deagle Trigger Discipline then lose around $4 with the rest of the outcomes. So getting a loss here will sting a lot. So the ROI of the trade up is 18.95% and we get a profit of $1.31 each time we do this trade up. So since this is a very risky trade up, I decided to only try this trade up out one time and Hopefully we can get the AK Slate in this attempt. So for my attempt for this trade up, let's see what we're going to get. 3, 2, 1. Ah oh, no, we got the Mac 10 Button Masher which is a $4.45 loss. So that now brings our total down to $18.86 each. But we are still in good profits in this video so let's still do one last trade up. So for the last trade up, we will be doing a restricted Spectrum 1 trade up in where we will be using 9 Millware Spectrum 1 skin for $1.14 each and 1 Factory New Spectrum 1 skin for $1.69 each. And the average float for this trade up needs to be less than 0 0.0823 so I recommend using Millware skins with float less than 0 0.09 and Factory New skins with float less than 0 0.035 and the total cost of the trade up will be $11.95 each. For the outcomes, we get a $12.25 profit with the M4A1 Decimator, then a $2.35 loss with the AWP Fever Dream, and a $4.23 loss with the CZ Xiangliu. So this trade up is quite risky but the profits will heavily outweigh the losses in this video so hopefully we can get a profit in this trade up. So for my one and only attempt at this trade up, let's see what we're going to get. 3, 2, 1. Ah, oh, we got the ADLP Fever Dream which is a $2.35 loss. So that trade up now puts our total down to $16.51 each which is really sad since I should have stopped when I got the AK Slate when we got good profits but oh well. <laughs> so if you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe and peace out.